All right, Kingdom. The King is back. We obviously got some things to talk about. It's been a minute since I posted a video. I think the last one was the Q&A. <clears throat> Basically, first and foremost, uh, I want to give a shout-out to all the supporters of the MMA Kingdom. I really appreciate y'all's support. Uh, the Obviously, MMA Affiliates Radio is back. Sports Affiliates Radio is here with the pro wrestling segment as well. I, a lot of things I want to talk about here, man. And one of those things is going to be Another MMA personality that, that be on Twitters and YouTube and shit. I am going to talk about Bloodstain Lane here today. Um, and I'll get into that here in a minute. Uh, first and foremost, though, let's get into some MMA. Uh, just, you know, give you a little tidbits on a few other things that's out there. First of all, let me ask you, man, what the fuck is wrong with Brian Caraway? How the fuck are you going to challenge Ronda Rousey? That's a pussy thing to do, for one. Second of all, Ronda Rousey will beat Brian Caraway. I don't see how anyone can disagree with that. Uh, Brian Caraway, dude or not, he, is he under a Zufa contract? Nah, I don't think so, because he sucks. And I'm not I'm not typically one to fighter bash, but come on, man. The only reason anyone even knows who's, who Brian Caraway is is because of Misha Tate. Right or wrong? Ronda Rousey, on the other hand, uh, who I've supported f for the entire last year, um, has done exactly what I said she would do. Dominate and become champion. She is the best female fighter in the world, and everybody here knows it. Uh, so Brian Caraway, little ass hurt, little butt hurt because his chick lost. You know, your bitch lost, man. Get over it. You know what I'm saying? And now uh, Ronda Rousey took over. You know, I mean, she's just the dominant one. So Brian Caraway, even if you could beat Ronda Rousey, what is that saying? What are you really saying? You know what I'm saying? You sound like a jerk off, man. Uh, so with that being said, that, 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 that entire story, I would like to know y'all's opinions, man. Uh, is that appropriate for Brian Caraway to say? Um... Ronda Rousey, I think, would break his fucking arm. But, that, you know, like I said, that's just my opinion. We all have difference in opinion, so it is what it is. You know, in terms of MMA, obviously we've had a lot of things going on. We had the, the, the UFC event. Martin Campman, uh, I can't say enough about. He came back very, very strong. Um, Thiago Alves, like I said on the radio show, I just don't know where he should go from here. You know what I'm saying? He's so inconsistent. Uh, I, I just don't look at him as a serious contender anymore, period. Uh, next up, you know, Dana White, he says he's 100% done with Strike Force. I think this, I mean, we, we've talked about the end of Strike Force, but I, I'd like to know what the fuck happened. Didn't he just a week ago say that he was going to take more of a control of Strike Force, and now he's done with Strike Force? Uh, does this mean this is going to be the end of Strike Force? I'd like to hear y'all's opinion on that. Me personally, I think Dana White will do everything in his power to kill Strike Force, much like Pride, WEC, uh, all that shit. Um, I know a lot of you guys agree with that, but basically I'm just kind of curious to see where this goes because didn't they just re-sign with, with, with Showtime? Uh, Dana White saying he was 100% done. Does that mean he was disappointed uh, with the Rousey Tate card? You know what I'm saying? He promoted the shit out of that card. He, To me, the card gave him what they wanted. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one of the side notes from that card is the young man uh, who had the racist tattoos, uh, Brian Sailing, um, child molester convicted let me tell you this people like that got to do something for a living so why not fight people keep saying well they shouldn't be in mma why not do you want them at your schools teaching your kids do you really want them at mcdonald's you know what i'm saying serving you your burgers let them fight man you know what i'm saying in terms of that white power bullshit let's see i say put him in there with john jones put him in there with somebody that'll make him uh well not john jones because john jones isn't really black Put him in there with Rampage Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Put him in there with Rashad Evans. Uh, and let's see, or Cain Velasquez. You know what I'm saying? And let's see if, uh, what he can do. Let's see him talk that white white pride shit then. But also at the same time, I got to say, it's no different from Cain Velasquez's brown pride or Rampage Jackson's Black Panther on his arm. You know what I'm saying? So all the people that's talking shit, I personally am not racist. But I think people have the right to be. People have the right to any opinion that they want to have. And no matter how ignorant, no matter how stupid that shit is, they have the right to it. So, fuck Brian Sailing. He has the right to a job, though, man. I mean, let's be honest, man. Why does everybody want all the fuck-ups and all the people that people consider bad to just not have a job, man? They got to feed their family. They got to eat, man. I don't want to pay for them with my taxes, so let them work. Now, as we continue to go through... You know, Nelson, Roy Nelson's talking about dropping a 205. Uh, the, yeah, right. That's not going to happen. We already know that shit. Um, anyways, 
Uh, Ronda Rousey, I do want to make a side note. She earned thirty-two thousand dollars for her fight. Misha Tate earned nineteen. Uh, very happy to see Ronda Rousey earn such a high payday, man, for a chick fight. Uh, because it was a main event, I'd like to have seen her earn a little bit more. But then again, it's not like it was a pay-per-view. It was a Showtime event. So with that being said, uh, big ups to it, though. Uh, one of the best fighters in the world. Now let's get to uh, something that's been going on. Bloodstain Lane. Everybody knows about our beef in the past. Apparently, he's took an issue with comments that I've made. Uh, and keep in mind, I don't check his Twitter. These are things that's been told to me. Um, I get on there today. He notices that I'm on there. And yesterday, I'd asked him if he wanted to come on the show. You know, I respect Bloodstain Lane. Uh, always have. I think he's a fake character online, but I, I respect him. Today, that respect doesn't exist anymore. I'm going to tell you why. He finds that he sees I'm on Twitter because he follows me. And he puts, just randomly, no, I don't want to come on your shitty podcast. He didn't put my name in it. He does this shit for show. He's got my number. He's got my email. He's got all this shit. He could talk to me man to man and say, hey, bro, I have a problem with some of the shit that's been said. But he doesn't. He puts it on Twitter without even putting my name in it, no nothing. And he talks shit. And then, he, you know, he's talk, he, he's just constantly talking shit. He's bigger than every vlogger, blogger out there. I'm not a fucking blogger, man. I don't care about being, I don't care about this shit. YouTube videos mean nothing to me. I've said it a million times. I don't care if I get 50 vi views or 500 views. This is not my job, man. This is not what I do. Period. Um, I'm in Florida loving life. And let me tell you something, Bloodstained Lane. You want to throw the cheap shots. You really want war number two? You, in another cheap shot, you said you embarrassed me once already. Every boy that's not in your circle that saw that beef will tell you, I am the one that embarrassed you. Period. Of course, all your fans, all your little groupies are going to say, Bless Dane Lane, beat JB. No, you didn't, bruh. I had you so pissed off and so fucking shaking you was pulling out guns on a YouTube. Period. Period. I offered you money to come fight me. You said no. Listen, man. I give you more respect than DiBiase and Michael Pepper, but this is where the respect ends, man. You showed today the bitchness in you, the fakeness in you. So bottom line, man, I'm on the East Coast now. I'm over here in Florida. What you want to do? Don't talk about it. Fuck this Twitter shit. I told you a million times. I'm not that kid from Philly that came to you. Let me, let me, let me laugh at this for a second. You had a, a kid come from Philly, and I heard this through the grapevine, to fight you because of the challenge that you made. He gets there and you give him boxing gloves. H how does that happen in a street fight? Seriously. How do you say, hey, bro, I know we're about to fight. Hold on. Put on these boxing gloves. Get the fuck out of here, you fake motherfucker. That shit was staged. I know it was staged. Period. I didn't see it. But if someone comes to, if you, when I come to fight you, if you come to fight me, if we're in the streets or in the grass or in the yard, bruh, we're not taking time to put on gloves, period. Now, if we do this officially and get in the cage, then that's different. But bottom line is, man, keep your little cheap shots, BSL. You ain't on my level in so many ways. You're a mama's boy living with your parents. You're not on my level. Yes, you have more fans and supporters than me on the internet. Who gives a fuck? No one, most people in this business do not respect you. I'm talking about fighters. They do not, res promoters. They do not respect you more than King JB. I genuinely try to help out this industry. You do not. You sit and bitch about it. You complain about it. You talk shit about it all day. So in terms of what we do for MMA, you're not on my level. You make a couple of fucking teenagers laugh on your videos. That's it. I'm actually going to the events. I'm actually talking to the promoters. I'm actually trying to put these people out. You put out your little ether videos, right? When was the last time you put out a good video about an MMA fighter? And say, hey, look at this guy. He's great. And tried to help promote him. You don't. You don't use your little groupie following to your advantage, homie. And you want to sit there and throw cheap shots at me? I've showed you respect, bruh. But I shouldn't have. You're fake online, and I know it. 
Anthony Lane seems like a good dude. Bloodstain Lane is a bitch. Period. And either one of you, Anthony Lane or Bloodstain Lane, I'll smack the shit out of. I'm not going to keep playing with you. I'm not going to do this YouTube war no more. Bottom line is, quit talking shit. Or come down. Get your ass beat with a palm tree, motherfucker. Quit talking shit. Period. So, with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and move on past this, man. If you got something to say to me, BSL, you know, you know how to get at me. You need my number? You can call me. You need my address? You can come see me. Send your groupies if you want. I'll fuck them up, too. It don't have to be like this, man. But you took what I said in that last Q&A video, and you took it too far. People can be honest without disrespecting. You've been honest. <clears throat> you think that I don't have no followers, and, 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 and you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. And I'm not mad at you for being honest. My YouTube following does suck. And I'm not mad at you for being honest about that. So why are you mad at me for being honest? Because I said you live with your mama. Because I said I think your online persona's fake. It is, man. You know it is. You ain't BSL. You ain't, you ain't never met John Gotti in your life. You ain't a mobster player. You're just some fat kid that talks shit online, period. Maybe the same as me. Difference is this fat kid will whoop your motherfucking ass. So take that shit, man, and w w how you want. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sit and keep playing with you. Game over. Come fuck with me if you want to. I didn't go to Catholic schools. I wasn't raised in a, in a wealthy neighborhood. Me and you are not the same. So all the jerk-off people out there that he also keep comparing me and BSL, there is no comparison, bro. We do different shit. We're two different people. One of us is an actor, and one of us is real life. I don't show my guns on the fucking computer. Why? Because I'm a three-time felon. I'll pop the shit out your motherfucking ass. For real. So I'm not showing my shit on here. Bottom line of it is... And I'll take that back. I got a disclaimer. I'm not going to pop you, period. Because that's not me, man. I'm not no gangster, man. I'm a family man. Period. Never said I was a gangster. But I'll tell you what. Don't let this family man shit fool you, bro. Anytime you ready. I'm tired of this internet talking, man. Okay. We've established you have more fans than me. So... You've been doing this longer, so you may know more about MMA than me, man. I don't care. But let's be real, man. You know, when it comes to keeping it real and when it comes to being humble and when it comes to being a man, that's where you fail, homie. So bottom line of it is keep talking about King JB. Keep not saying my name but talking about me. Because you can't handle the fact that I think your online persona is fake. Yes, we are not friends, man. But I did respect you until this shit. I asked you to come on my show because I think you're knowledgeable. I, I appreciate what, you know, your knowledge. I wanted to shoot the shit with you. Front Row Brian was coming on the show, so I wanted to... I know you two fuck with each other. It was just very simple, man. But you wanted to fuck with me like you a superstar, Really? You ain't a superstar, BSL. You have 2,000 people that follow you, homie. Really? That's big time to you? You're bigger than me? <laughs> Whatever, man. You're not bigger than shit. You're just a fat dude with a bunch of little kid followers. You have, I mean, seriously, you have the rejects of society that follow you, man. Seriously. Most of them. Some of them, like myself, some of us, like myself, we just appreciate what you do. But let's be honest, man. Most of the people you got ain't shit. They're in the mama's basement, and they ain't shit. So anyway, man, bottom line, keep talking that shit. At the end of the day, come see me if you really want it. You want, this, you want another war? We got it. Don't say you, you, you embarrassed me the first time. No, the fuck you didn't. You embarrassed yourself, man, period.